And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online. In the last episode, we played Colosseum, which was the next to the last episode in the Riemann FE series and the Romulan stuff altogether. And we got our nice Riemann shield going on, as you can see. And now we are ready to do the last mission of this series. Uh, for the, well, the Riemann FE series, that is, not this whole YouTube series, but for basically wrapping up the Romulan stuff. This last thing, Darkness Before Dawn, is not a mission. It's just a little thing to go do to kind of wrap up the storyline. Um, but basically, um, this is the last mission of the Riemann FE series. And the Starfleet Romulan Intelligence stuff. has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% chance that the Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire and that their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. Command is considering lending assistance to Obasek and his forces, but before we come into direct conflict with the Romulans, we want to try a more discreet approach. The data indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system, Long-range sensor scans indicate that there may be a major Talshar installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Talshar's base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. So basically, we got to stop Hakiv and find out as much about him and his connection to the Iconians as we can. So go to the Brea system, and we will get a tractor beam mine launchers, which are infinite, infinite skill, and um, they are really cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think they are con uh, consumable items. So, I th yeah, they're mines that you can continually launch, and they don't run out. So uh, there you go. Uh, let's get on with it. Brea system, which is over here. When we get into actual space, I will show you guys the um, difference in um, shield capacity that that has made for us. Um, when you're in sector space, you don't get the real world values that you have. You have to be inside Sol or some kind of space uh, environment to get your real defense shield readings and all that stuff. And uh, maybe in this episode we'll have a chance to use our scorpion fighters. There's a there's a big battle scene, especially at the end. So I'll pop some scorpion fighters and show you show you what those look like and how those are and what they do. So pretty cool. I just think the uh, Riemann shield is one of the best looking shields in this game. I mean, it really, really, really makes our ship look unique. as we slowly get there. Right, here we are. Enter debris system. See here's somebody else with the uh, Riemann shield on. It, uh, each ship is a little unique. All right, enter debris system. Cutting the cord. Alright, um, we have arrived. Um, there's automated defenses in the area, weapon platforms. We have to defeat the Romulan orbital satellites and ships. Now, there's a ship coming toward me, but before they get to me, what I wanted to show you is this. My actual shield capacity right now with the Riemann shield is 7,505. 7, with the um, Jim Hadar shield I had on, you can see it was 5,402 or 5,402. Now, no, I can't put it on because now I'm in battle. Crap. Well, let's take out this ship really fast. And then.
have to not be in battle to switch out items. Have to wait for the red alert to go away. Okay, now we can switch back to my my shield. So, as you saw, 5402, and we're going to go to um, our Riemann shield and 7505. See the big difference there? Oh yeah. It will definitely help us in a cruiser. Now, if you are a um, tactical officer, one of your career-specific things to do is to turn these, uh, one of these plasma turrets against the enemy. So that's like your only thing to do this uh, in this mission is to is to do that, and that gets you the accolade for this mission for the science and engineering one the engineering one is in the middle of this mission and the science one is at the end of this mission On this uh, ground mission, you actually we need to get closer to the planet first. Go. You only get yourself. <laughs> you do not get to take any of your bridge officers with you, which is a little disappointing. But I guess think of it like you're a spy infiltrating a base. You would not take a big uh, group with you. You just take, you know, a small little team or just yourself and infiltrate your way in. And uh, we got to set spatial charges for them. Um, this is another uh, brand new map they created for this mission, which I think looks awesome. Uh, basically, it makes you feel like you're in a city, you know, a Romulan or a Riemann city or whatever. They got the big uh, statue thing going on there, and uh, yeah, you just get that feel that you're in a, an important place. I just think it looks really great for an MMO. The ships flying up there and stuff. All right, let's take him out. Pretty easy to take him out, uh, especially when you sneak up on him. Um, luckily, we do get to beam down an emergency away team if uh, if we need extra combat personnel, which we're going to need up here. And uh, we get to call for support, and that beams down um, bridge officers that will help you fight. They're not your bridge officers, but they are, I guess, security from your ship. 
they beam down to help you and then they beam away. And uh, after they're done, that's it. They beam away. So that's nice to have that. It's kind of neat. Here's one of the spatial charges. Now what's really cool about this um, mission is that if you get lost and do not know where to go, they set up a virtual guide path which shows you where you need to go. I mean, it's really easy to figure out, but just in case, there is that guide path which shows you which way to go. an optional where you send uh, coordinates for an orbital strike and we definitely want to do that so I will show you. There's actually a, a few accolades you can get that are pretty unique to this uh, to this mission. One of the orbital strikes is right over here so you want to make sure to hit this. Take out their fighters. way to do it. Now for the um, engineering one, it requires a bit of quickness. Once we get over this bridge, um, this is going to get bombarded and if you wait too long, you will not be able to do the accolade. So you actually have to rush straight there and do it. So let's do it. Because it goes to a cutscene, and the bridge gets bombarded, and this fighter comes, and you have to quickly get over here and hit this console before it bombs this console. There, there's my Gravity Kills um, engineering one. Now, the other accolade is to take down. Take this down. You can shoot it, and if you take it down... That gives you an accolade. See, it bombed that. So you have to hit that console before it bombs that, just like that. Now hopefully, hopefully I gave it enough damage to die. Let's see. I'm waiting to see if it crashes. Don't tell me it didn't crash. Even though I killed all its health, it's still alive somehow. Well, if you can take that scorpion fighter out, that is an accolade. And apparently, I did not do it. Anyway. Alright, now we can continue with uh, the rest. And we'll go this way. Crap! Should have seen that coming. Um, let's go, instead of going that way, let's go around this way. Before we go over there, we'll go, go over here and we'll hit this one. This will spawn some... Oh, maybe that was it. Grounded. You defeated a scorpion fighter. Finally. It took it long enough. But there it was. You defeated a scorpion fighter, fighter while on foot. Accolation, uh, accolade complete. Grounded. So it just took it a very long time. But <laughs> I did get it.
now we have one more spatial charge. We have to get around this group here. No, those are Remans. Okay, they're on my side. They're Remans. They killed the Romulans here. Good for them. Find a way to reach Hakiv. Scan for Hakiv. Route power to disable one of the force fields. So um, basically, there's Romulans and Remans fighting over here. You don't really have to mess with them. Uh, you can talk to the uh, Reman lieutenant, which didn't do anything. But in order to do what it's talking about right now, we actually have to go back up here and go back the way we came. There is a force field we have to disable. And in doing that, there's also a hidden accolade. So um, this was that area where we did that. If we come back across the bridge going this way, we're going to um, activate this console, which will do the disable force field thingy. And then there's an accolade that I will show you. So first, let's pop that. Let's hit this. And come on. Come on. This, there's going to be... Uh, uh, Romulans here. Now if you target this Scorpion fighter I said target Scorpion fighter Come on, what can I not target the Scorpion fighter? Okay, this is ridiculous. I cannot target the Scorpion fighter. Why can't I target you? Alright, well, the accolade which I am apparently going to fail is that you target the scorpion fighter and blow it up. And then, I can't target anything over here. Must be a bug or something. Yeah, there's gotta be a bug. Because what you're supposed to be able to do is you're supposed to be able to target the scorpion fighter, take it out, which kills all of them and gives you an accolade. But I can't target it, in, and I don't know why it should let me. There, my quantum order took it out. There, finally. Uh, I did it the roundabout way. So my quantum order basically took it out, which gave me the accolade shooting Romulans in a barrel. But you're supposed to be able to target it with your weapons and shoot it and destroy it that way. So I don't know, maybe some kind of bug. But thankfully, because I'm an engineer and I had that quantum mortar um, and my um, my phaser thing, my uh, turret fabrication, both of those allowed me to um, defeat it. Thank goodness for that. But if you don't have that stuff, I don't know, try it. Hopefully it'll work for you. It's supposed to, anyway. I've done it a million times. Alright, now we have to go get an access chip from a Romulan officer. And that means going up here. Now your last orbital strike as you come up here is this right here. So make sure you hit this. It'll uh, take out these, uh, this group here. Vaporize them. And now I've got the accolade Death from Above. So you can, as you can see, there's a lot of accolades you can get from this uh, one mission. So I just want to make sure to hit them all. And again, if you're on a team, um, you, you all can do your different accolades and then you get those accolades too. Search the officer for his access card. Good, now we've got his key card. Now we have to go defeat Hockey. So 
So now we're coming to the final ground battle, which is pretty intense, and that's to um, defeat Hakiv and his guards. And then after the ground battle, we have a big space battle. So it really sums it all up nicely. That's why I like this episode a lot, and uh, the Jim Hadar stuff was kind of missing in a lot of combat. This um, this has a lot of good combat. It has good ground combat, and then it has good space combat. And I like that in the series. Crap, I gotta deal with all these Romulans. As much as I would relish the opportunity to explain my strategies, I'm afraid the subtleties would be lost on you. Oh, A really? lowly being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent, and that any future will depend on a place in their regime. As the Borg would state, resistance Ooh, is futile. Yawn, yawn, yawn. I'm gonna take you out. Alright, oh crap. I need to call for support. And they will use Thaleron weapons, so you have to watch out. They're pretty deadly. I can call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. So Obasek has come to our rescue. Obasek has um, beamed down his own forces to help us. How nice of him. Very, very cool. So, you see, Obasek turned out to be a nice guy after all, or at least not a bad guy. He's still using Thaleron weapons, but he's not a bad guy. Man, look at Haki flying here. Check Haki. He's too badly injured to speak. He struggles only for a moment before he is finally still. His pad is tightly encrypted, but the file that is open references an Iconian gateway only a dozen meters from this very plaza. Hakiv's end comes without any desperate speech or furious diatribe. As his plan collapses around him, only silence follows him into oblivion. That's a cool ending right there. They've never quite had an ending like that for, you know, one of the uh, enemies. It's, he's just dead. <laughs> no diatribe, nothing. He's just dead. He's gone. He vanishes off into oblivion, and we win. <laughs> it's just like that. It's, that's just one of the best endings for a uh, for a bad guy I've ever seen right there. I like that. Speak with Obasek. The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect, and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I like Obasek, he's cool. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do, and leave quickly. So, um, says we've located the Iconian computer systems. They're in a research room near the courtyard, just back the way you came. So this is where the science accolade comes in. Um, if you're a science person, you would come through this room and you would upload a virus into the Iconian computer. 
Um, but I am not science. So to continue the mission, we actually go into this room and let's see what's happening over here. There's a Romulan escaping through the I through an Iconian gateway. So that was cool, and now we have to plant charges on it. Because we have to destroy it. Nobody can have that kind of power. Cool. Now we have to return to the plaza for beam out. But what's this? That is one huge Iconian gateway. The Ark. It's a huge Iconian gate. Didn't even know it. Couldn't even tell. But that is an Iconian gateway right there. That huge thing. Sir, we have your coordinates, but we can't beam you up until the gate is destroyed. Um, so we need to reach a safe distance and we're going to call in an orbital bombardment to destroy the gate. So we have to go far away over here and we're going to call in an orbital bombardment and uh, destroy it from space. Pretty awesome. So we come over here and we're going to hit this. And we're going to bomb this thing from our ship. Taken out, destroyed, we win. With the gate destroyed, we can get a lock on you and beam you up whenever you're ready. Let's beam out. Romulan reinforcements are starting to arrive. We have our work cut out for us. Yeah, I will assist you. After all, we face a common foe. So Obasek will help us. And we have to take out the Romulans. So let's uh, deploy some fighters. Let's see, there they go. More Romulan ships incoming. Cool, that was the first wave. This is Empress Sela. Interference and Imperial Affairs will not be tolerated. Rebels and insurgents will be eliminated. Look at this. A whole nother mass of uh, Romulans here to deal with. And a um, basically a dreadnought type ship. And it can cloak and disappear. We got a few with us, but not a lot. And my scorpion fighters looks like they got destroyed. The cool cooldown times pretty long on the uh, scorpion fighters. I don't like that. I think they've increased that, and um, that's not good. We need a much shorter cooldown time than five minutes. So we gotta wait for her to reappear. And she's in a pretty tough ship. Yes, that's where she's at.
so much by cloaking. What? Sensors are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. What? What? That asteroid. They have, uh, they're heading back through the gate. It's, it's an Iconian gate, and it's the Iconians, and they're dragging Sela's ship back through it. What? Now that's what I call cheating. The Iconians came through a secret gate, and they rescued her. How amazing is that? Did Sela just escape, or was she kidnapped? Regardless, this gate is deep in Romulan space. It's too risky to leave it in Romulan control, even with Hakeem and the Empress gone. So now we have to go destroy a an Iconian gate that's built into an asteroid. Man, those Iconians, they really built big. Who knew they had asteroid-sized... Um, gateways. You can fly a whole ship through it, basically. I mean, that's that would be the point, I guess. You could uh, have whole fleets travel through those gateways. It reminds me of um, Stargates. Space Gates. Alright. If that was another Iconian gateway, that explains how they moved entire fleets. We have to get out of Romulan space and warn Starfleet Command. The Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is looming on the horizon. Dun dun dun. Big ol' looming threats. Although I have a feeling the Iconians are actually going to be the ones that save us from the Borg. That's just my theory. But uh, maybe there'll be some kind of big sacrifice or some big payment. But maybe they'll be Starfleet the ones will continue the search us. for Sila's vessel, but as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sila's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. The return of the Iconians could change everything. Dun dun dun. So we get our tractor beam mine launchers and they're auto leveling, which is great. We won't ever have to replace them if we choose The Federation to do them. has offered the Riemann Resistance humanitarian aid, and we are working with them to find diplomatic solutions to their disputes with the Romulans. Obasek has asked to speak with you. You can meet his ship in the Hakona system. And once again, please accept my congratulations Thank on a job well much. done. So I just want to go ahead and do darkness before the dawn. Might as well. It's just a really, really short thing. Where you go and speak to Obasek. And he tells you what's going on. And uh, you just get some skill points for it. It's pretty much it. So that's in the Hakona system. And that'll basically finish this whole thing off. So we got our tractor beam mines. They're pretty cool to use. Um, so really cool rewards in this uh, whole series. You get the scorpion fighters. Um, you get the Riemann shield. Um, you get the tractor beam mines. And you get the Romulan disruptor. So this whole series had some really awesome rewards. So I mean, I mean like, you know, it's if you wanted to build up a a Romulan type of character, or a Riemann type. It's the closest you're going to get for now. With all that stuff. So let's go see what Obasek I has to say. I fight for my people. Oh, he fights for his people. We will be free. So there's a lot of stuff here you can talk to him about, like why have you returned to the vault? Our base in the Dera system was heavily damaged by the Tal Shiar. We have reactivated the vault, and we will continue to rebuild it. A place that was once used to create weapons of war will now be a home where all are welcome. Now see, that's a good use for the vault right there. It's a huge space station. Why not make the vault his home, you know? We will be free. What about the Romulan refugees who live in the vault? Um, do you know what happened to Sela? I do not. I know the Romulan military is searching for her, but there have been no indications of where the demons took her. 
or what their plans for her are. We will be free. Um, do you think Sela was working with the Iconians? My instincts tell me no, but I have no proof. Sela was at odds with the Tal Shiar. I do not think it would have been so if they served the same master. So maybe the Iconians took her for information? We will be free. What are the Rymelins doing now that Sela's disappeared? The petty arguments and plays for power Sela crushed have begun anew. There are dozens who wish to rule the Empire. Chaos, It will basically. take some time before a new leader arises. Until then, Chaos. much blood will be shed. We will be free. Um, one of your resistance fighters. Now this is, um, this question is because during the, um, original play of the series, the special reward item you got at the very last episode was a Riemann officer. You got to take a Riemann officer and make him your bridge officer. I wish him well. I never wanted to rule my people, and I put no restrictions on their freedom. If there are Riemanns who wish to rebuild their lives elsewhere, they are welcome to do so. So, of course, that's we will uh, be free. not available now, but it was then. My people are free, but there is much more to do. The Romulans hate and fear us, and we do not have a planet to call our own. I do not think our fight is over. We will be free. So that's Obasek. Um, I don't have any more Farewell, questions. my friend. I would welcome the chance to fight by your side again. So he turned out to be a pretty cool we dude in the end. Obasek has transported uh, something for you t uh, to... He says that he wanted to give you something to remind you of old friends and new beginnings. I've taken the liberty of hi having the item move to the crew lounge. You can see it there. So basically we also got a new floor trophy for doing this little thing. And it's just a little floor trophy you can put in your, um, um, like, tin forward room. That's pretty much all you get. Oops. So, all that's turned in and all that's done. And, um, that's all the rewards we can get for right now. But that completes the entire, um, Romulan mystery. We're now completely done, as you can see. All done. Darkness Before the Dawn, which we just did there. All done. And, um, and now we are on to the Cardassian Struggle. And uh, it looks like we need to be level 39 to start it. And um, so I will have to rank up to the next level off screen to uh, be able to start this. And then we'll do Venture into Deep Space, and then we'll do Badlands, and Suspect, and War Games, and all these great Cardassian missions. It's just a ton of great stuff that take place, as you guessed it, on the map in the Cardassia area of um, space, Beta Ursi, Alpha Trianguli, and Zeta Andromeda. So we will start that in the next episode, and that will be a lot of fun. We finally moved through the Klingons and Romulans, and now we're going to be into the Cardassian stuff. So very, very cool. So I will catch you all in the next episode.